All right. Well, welcome everyone. We're so happy to have you all with us and got a wonderful treat for all of us today. Um, wonderful friend and gifted speaker. And before we do that, we're going to open in prayer. And Nancy Reese is going to open us up in prayer. Um, there she is. Okay, go ahead. Nancy is a executive manager in our team and a very gifted person at connecting with people. And Nancy, go ahead and ask the Lord to help us, please. Yes. Dear Lord, we just love you. We thank you for this time together today, even though we're far apart, Lord, that our hearts are, are close. And Lord, I just thank you for this time of year, this season of just um, focusing our attention on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord, we just look forward to what you have for next year. We know it's going to be exciting. And I just thank you for the many blessings you give us. Thank you for friends, for family. And uh, for our health, Lord, and you are the great physician, so we just give you thanks for, for our health. We love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Bless this time, and thank you for Janice stepping forward to speak with us today, Lord. May our hearts absorb what she has to speak to us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Nance. Okay, well, we have a few announcements I'll share, and you guys can be thinking of wins. I'm happy to see Cindy Swan on here and Mary and all you folks. Thanks for joining us um, for announcements. If you could please take notes on this, because you're going to need to know these dates. Um, every Friday at nine o'clock West Coast time, I guys, I want you guys to know that um, uh Alan Blaine very graciously said our whole team can be on the Wisdom Weekly calls, and they're a rapidly growing team. Every every uh, weekend event that I go to in spring and fall, it's getting bigger. Did you notice that too, Denise? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And so um, it's a very well-led team, well-managed team. And Alan said we our whole team is welcome every Friday nine o'clock west coast time it's only 30 minutes but it's very 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 valuable uh janice's brother-in-law gave a great presentation yesterday and if you don't know how to get on that call get a hold of me and i can help you so that's real important to help us keep going during the week then uh three other events i want to go over uh louis is having a, a weekend event in fresno area um uh, march 22nd through 24th and his events are spectacular. They're absolutely fabulous. And our team is invited and I can get you um, discount tickets. So uh, if you want your business to grow, that's a real important thing to do is to be at weekend events. So that's March 22nd through 24th. Then the next Wisdom Builder event uh, is in Shaco Springs, Alabama. We've got about five or six of us registered at this point right now. And that's April uh, 12th through 14th. So you want to write that down because the people in our team that go to these events are you almost always the people with the biggest, most successful teams within our team. So these are really important. And then the summit is July 26th through 27th. And does anyone have, before we bring, uh, I guess I should one, do one more thing. January 6th, our next BOC first one of the year, Kendra Brassfield said she would be with us. So yeah, so that's a very special, special event. So that's January 6th, Kendra will be with us. So you want to be on that call for sure, get friends on there. She's a young, visionary, wonderful woman. So you want to be at that. And uh, does anyone, before we introduce Janice, does anybody have a win they would like to share? I guess I'll prime the pump. Um, well, tell you what, let me say something. Okay, Jamie. We we had a great uh, business party uh, that here in uh, Grants Pass last night, and uh, it was an appreciation for our promoters, and it was just really wonderful turnout, and I was just really pleased. And and uh, Bob came down for that. That's why he's here doing the the BOC out of our place this morning. 
and uh, we just got really excited. And one of the uh, people has been a customer, didn't want to be a promoter, didn't want to have anything to do with the business part. After Bob got done, she's saying, I want to be a promoter <laughs> and, you know, helping her see the bigger picture. So uh, anyway, you, you just keep sharing, just keep educating and, and helping people see what the, the company's all about. Because it once they catch the whole picture, it really makes a difference. And Janine, it's so good to see you, Denise. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jamie. Yeah, we had a fantastic time last night. It was absolutely wonderful. And uh, I'll just share three three wins real quick from our team. Uh, Barbara Chichester has a brand new um, senior manager, Cambicia Frederick. She came to the convention, to the summit, and she hit 1,052 last month. So there's a brand new senior manager. Yes. And then Kat Bonnie had her second consecutive month of senior manager, and she's up 20% over last month, which is great. And Sigrid Simpson, which I saw Sigrid is on here. Um, she had her third consecutive month of executive manager. So that's some wonderful stuff there. So uh, I does anybody uh -huh. else a win they want to share? Bob, I do. Hey, okay, let's go for it. So I'm, um, some of you know, I'm, I've been in Wisconsin since the convention, basically, <laughs> impact some of I uh, just came, came here right away after words for Krista's birth. And then my two girls who live here talked me into <laughs> staying for a while. So you're seeing inside of one of Gina's rooms. <laughs> anyway, I'm all set up in here. Um, <clears throat> but it's enabled me to connect with a lot of Gina's team. The party we had last year called the, the uh, Fuzzy Sock Party, we're going to have it here this year where we uh, fill each other's stockings and Gina's making her list of her people. And uh, I've got a list of some people I want to make sure I invite to and, you know, honor this Neolife team here. But in the meantime, I uh, have run into a lady I met, oh my goodness, 20 years ago, that um, is part of that water company that LaVon Vaughn used to be in. Okay. And... And it's, uh, she's an author and I've been getting her um, teen novels, um, uh, Civil War novels and stuff. Anyway, so I'm looking at her and going, oh my goodness, you know, she's never been interested in Neil. But I'm looking at her and thinking, she is 10 years younger than me and looks 10 years older than me. And I'm going, and she talked about her back. I mean, we ran into each other at the chiropractors here <laughs> and, and how, uh, you know, she used to wear a brace and stuff. And uh, so she has trouble with it ongoing. And anyway, I find, I just thought, okay, here, I'm watching Eric Worre this weekend. And I thought, oh, here's one of those pivot points. Um, <laughs> ask Alan if you want to know what it means. <laughs> anyway, I'm going, you know, you should really try our salmon one. She goes, well, mine is it's structural. I said, I've structure has changed even. I, there's a fellow that took Cal Mag back before I even joined, and it forced screws out of his bone in his leg. Like the bone rebuilt itself and pushed them out. And, and she goes, oh. And she goes, but, you know, we're, drink, we're drinking this water, and we, we have this turmeric thing. And she just, <laughs> I'm thinking, you've got to supply the missing parts of your food to build your body. You know, yes, maybe those give you a good environment. But she goes, okay, okay, you can email me something. And so that, you know, after 20 years of no's, that was a breakthrough. It was really exciting. And and then I'm going to tell a little testimony later that I that I told her to demonstrate um, some of what I was trying to say. So anyway, we want to keep our friends healthy and sometimes we just have to get brave and try again. <laughs> good, Les, very good. Anybody Thanks. else? Thank you very much. Anybody else have a one they want to share? Nice to see Kevin and Janet on here. It's wonderful to see you guys. Had a fun visit with Kevin the other day. Okay. Um, 
Well, I will echo. I, I I think I should show you guys the camera. We got a nice little gathering over here. I don't know if I can make this work right, but uh, we've got, there's Nance. And, um, Hi, Leslie. There's, and um, <laughs> we've got Jamie and Carol and Rick and Barb and Gail. And did I get everybody? So, and yeah. Debbie, Debbie's about to get here. Oh, and here comes Kat and Bonnie. So we got quite a gathering here, you guys. Um, that's that's because we have such a good speaker today. And here comes Deb. And here comes uh, Kat and Shannon's Kat. And uh, Shannon's coming too. And Kat and Shannon came to their first summit and they loved it. And they're signed up for the next summit. So, uh, okay, we will get on with our program. So, um, Daniel, I'm hoping I can share a screen. I think I can. Uh, yeah, here we go. So I want to show you um, the, a beautiful family. I'm telling you, look at that lovely, lovely family. That is um, Janice and Chad's family. Yeah. And um, let's see here. There's her firstborn, who is a one Ruby director. And and the, her firstborn, Katie and Elisha, were in... Uh, world team top three uh, at, at the last summit. And they got to be invited to dinner at Jerry's place in Waikiki, as did Chad and Denise. And uh, our speaker today, uh, Janice, she's a magnificent, remarkable, amazing person. Uh, you'll see soon see this. She's full of joy, full of positivity, full of wisdom. She's a wife, a mother of 11, a beautiful family, a homeschool mom. And you guys get this. This is so powerful. You want to pay very close attention to, to every word from Janice because fought for every reason. But this is one reason since we're in a Neolife session here. Five of her 11 kids are receiving paychecks from Neolife. Is that awesome, you guys? Is that awesome? Give her a hand. Five of her 11. And you guys, you know, finances is a huge part of our life. It's huge. And it's in the news all the time, like recession, depression, all this stuff or employment. And here, Janice, right in her home with a home business, five of her 11 kids are getting paychecks. One of them is a one Ruby, as is Chad and Janice. They're also one Ruby. And Chad and Janice were in top three world team as well at the last summit. So... And uh, one of Janice's daughters is a, uh, was designated by the company at the last summit as a rising star. And Janice got asked to speak at the summit, uh, at the last summit, which is a very high honor. She is a joy to be around. She's full of wisdom. She's kind. She's thoughtful. She's gracious. So I want you guys to please help me welcome. She's, this is such a treat to have Janice. Don't you agree, Jamie? Incredible treat. And yeah. that's incredible. Uh, please help me welcome a very, very fine person, one Ruby, Janice Johnson. Thank you, Bob. Okay, well, you guys, um, is there any way you could take this picture off so I can see all the other people on the screen? Yes. Oh, there, we go. there we go. Back to this. Okay. Uh, thanks, Bob. Uh, you guys are really blessed to have Bob as your leader. Uh, amen. He, yes, amen. He's a great leader. And I got to thinking, you know, what is a great leader? And first of all, he's super knowledgeable about the products. He's a learner and a grower. Many, many times I see him, you know, going up, he asked me clarifying questions. Is this what you said? I see him going up to people that give testimonies. How much did you take? So he um, doesn't just, you know, hearsay what somebody's saying, but he digs deeper. And uh, number two, he genuinely loves people. And I think all of you can say that because you're all a testimony of that. And he creates value for people. He shows up month after month for these breakfast of champions. You know, he's consistent. He just stays there and um, he's always creating value. And just, you know, the fact that he had Jerry Brasfield on here to talk to you guys. And then Kendra is going to be speaking to you guys. I mean, how do you rate? And Janice, and we yes. have Janice too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, 
I'm happy to come share with you guys uh, because Bob has been, he's just a friend and, you know, we're not even in the same line, but that's okay. That's what's so great about Neo Life is that we help each other and it doesn't matter if it's cross or down or up, but um, we just want to help and bless each other. So um, I just wanted to make a little correction. I have eight of my 11 children. Okay, so two more are signing up this month. One is That's 15 incredible. and the other is 17. And guess what? They don't even get to collect on their money until they turn 18 years old, but they're willing to put in the work right now because delayed gratification when they turn 18, they can collect on that. Right. So wow. um, super fun. It's so fun to be able to be in a family where we value health, to be in a business a family business, actually, that we can work together. And, um, you know, when I have a party, all my kids can invite friends to the party, right? Everybody benefits from it. So there's a lot of synergistic um, stuff going on in our family, um, which is fantastic. Thank you to Neil Life for providing this opportunity for us. Um, yeah, two of my daughters are making more than we are in our business. And I got to stay in front of those racehorses. They are just, they're racehorses, okay? You don't see a lot of them up front, but they are doing the work. And that's the person who gets blessed is the person that's doing the work. Um, but they're smart about it. I will say that. One has five children, six and under, and the other has two, and she's expecting her third baby uh, December 25th. So those are the girls, you know, when I look at them, there's just no excuses for me saying I don't have time or things don't work, but there are seasons. You need to be aware of the season that you're in um, because there are times to just like a farmer, there's a time to plant and there's a time to harvest. And really, this is the time, you know, right now, before they have babies, that's always a harvest time for them. They're trying to set everything up so that they have some time off um, after they have their babies. But anyway, um, I was introduced to Neo Life when I was pregnant with my fifth child. I was um tired and I was exhausted. And I went to the health food store and I was just like, I need something for energy. And went to mother's health food store and just overwhelmed with all the products, left feeling discouraged. And right at that time, uh I read an article by Marjorie Clark um on having 10 children. Um, minus a kidney and a spleen. And she looked healthy. All of her children looked healthy. And I was like, wow, I need to be on the step that she's on. At that same time, Nicole Blaine calls me up and says, Janice, I am off my antidepressants. Um, my IBS is better. My chronic fatigue is gone. And I've been taking these uh, products for like three months. You ought to try them out. I'm like, you guys are a godsend. This is amazing. So, um, uh, long story short, got on the uh, products and here's 20 plus years later, I'm still on the products and have benefited through all the changes of life for my body, for my children, for my grandchildren. And um, so it's um, just thinking it has supported me through, um, you know, monthly cycles um, through no postpartum depression, through all my pregnant six pregnancies. Um, what else? Let's see. Oh, through a menopause. I've gone through menopause with just a little, you know, blip and have enjoyed 22 years of not being sick, which is crazy. Um, I have that super C and garlic. If I feel something coming on, I will take four super C and two garlic and three times a day knocks out whatever is there. And I just don't get sick. So, um, being on the side of being proactive with my health is super important to me. Um, you're going to pay for it one way or the other being, I'm working with people that are paying a lot of money because they've abused their body and they're sick. So being sick is expensive, or you could be on the other side, proactive side, and you can say, Oh, taking these vitamins is expensive, but I would rather be on the proactive side and invest in myself and reap the benefits of that. So Anyway, super glad to be here. Um, what Bob didn't say was I was, um, I'm married to Chad Johnson yeah. and, um, we've been married for 30 years and, wow. uh, 
It's been fantastic. I wanted to share a little story with you, all you husbands out there. I'm going to give you a little idea. But um, on the 30th of each month, all of a sudden, so I, my anniversary was on August uh, 15th. Okay. And we married 30 years. So the next month on the 30th, I get this big bouquet of flowers, 30 roses. And I'm like, why are you sending me 30 roses? He's like, cause we've been married 30 years it's, and it's the 30th. I just want to celebrate with you. The next month rolls around on the 30th. I got another bouquet of flowers. Okay. So this has been going on for four months now on the 30th of each month, just reminding us of, um, our marriage and how great it is. And, you know, investing in your health, investing in your marriage, it pays off and it makes for uh, a joyful, radiant bride. So I just want to encourage all you husbands out there to be speaking into your wives and caring for your wives and cherishing your wives um, because you benefit as a husband, as well as all your children. And um, it's such a blessing. Okay, so um, um, when I started Neolife, all I could afford was Formula 4 and three vitamin E for my varicose veins. And um, I was like, oh my goodness, the more I listened to, the more I learned about Neolife, the more I realized I need, you know, Fido Defense. I need the CalMag. I need the CoQ10. I need all the things that I needed. And I was like, and my husband needs it and my kids need it. And this could be so expensive. And so I just decided to do, um, I called it my one hour of power every day. I had five children. When I put them down for naps, I spent one hour every day committed to my Neo Life business and started taking risks and started sharing with people. And it was super scary at first, but, um, you know, fast forward 20 years later, I'm not scared anymore. I feel like my confidence went from a one to a 10 and I feel like I can approach anybody. I used to be kind of intense about my business and I'm not anymore. I just have fun and I just share it. I leave the results in the Lord's hand. And, um, I think that's really benefited my business. So, um, you know, I used to do an hour a day. Now I do like an hour and a half a week, but my business is still growing because guess what? You guys, you get better at what you do. Um, it doesn't take as long. You get more efficient at what you do. And yet my business is probably growing at a greater rate, obviously, because you get momentum going for you. And the hardest part of your business is the beginning. It's like a rocket taking off. You have all that fuel. It takes so much to get that rocket off the ground. But once it's going, you've got momentum on your side and it's like a snowball. And it's just like one month I showed up. I was like, oh my goodness, I got 10,000 points. What is going on? I call it like, who's doing something under me? You know, I call my daughters. What's going on here? You know? Um, and so it really starts to snowball. Anyway, um, it's really easy. I just wanted to say, um, first off, I gave my business to the Lord because it's really easy when you want something so bad to get really uptight about it. And it's really easy to make an idol out of something and say, oh, I'm willing to sacrifice everything because I'm going to be a director or a one Ruby or whatever you're trying to go for. And I just wanted to encourage you guys. Um, I feel like I found the sweet spot. Um, it's not on the side of not doing anything. You can sit on this side and just go, oh, I'm just going to trust God and he's going to do the work. Well, that's not going to bring any business in. And then on the other side, focusing too much on your business at the sacrifice of your relationship with your husband or with your children or um, your own health, that isn't healthy as well. But just finding the sweet spot in the middle. And I just wanted to encourage you guys with Matthew 6, 33. I love that you guys start your meeting with prayer and that the Lord is the priority of this um, group. Um, but Matthew 6, 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all these things shall be added unto you. And so um, as far as prioritizing, putting the Lord first in your life is the key. It's the key to everything. It changes everything. You know, he is the person that is the God of creativity. He is the God of solutions. He's the God of all wisdom. 
knowing how to handle situations, knowing how to be creative and create value. All that stuff comes from him. So prioritize your relationship with the Lord more than anything else in your life. Okay, so Bob asked me to share, uh, what should you do with your time? That's a pretty broad question. Um, and I wrote, make sure your priorities are right. We kind of discussed that just now. Um, you want to be living from the inside out. And I like to just picture a bullseye with arrows going out in all directions. Um, you're living, live from a full cup. When you're ordering your private world, when you're at peace with things, when you're not stressed out, when you're um, having fun, when you're working hard, when you're keeping the main thing, the main thing, and you're living from a, an abundance mindset um, and an overflow of what's already going on in your life, you are going to attract people. You can't help it. People are going to come to you. What are you doing? Can you tell me? Can you help me? Can you, you know, and then all of a sudden, instead of you having to go out, people are coming to you and asking the questions. Um, so, uh, um, ask yourself this question, wherever your personal interests lie, ask yourself, how can I create value? Okay. And it doesn't have to be Neoline. So, um, so my daughter, who's our eldest, she's 28 years old. And she originally started her um, platform online. I'm not an online person at all. I'm a belly to belly person. You know, I open the catalog and just share with people, you know, but she is an online person and she finds a lot of fun in that. So she was like, I'm just going to create value for people. She started teaching people. If she was a upholster upholstering a couch herself, um, a do it yourself project, she would post that online. If she was making uh, a menu, she would put her healthy menus online. If she had a child training tip, she would put that online. So she's creating for value for all these people. And all of a sudden people are super attracted to her fun, loving, creative ways. And then every once in a while she shares about Neolife. Well, originally her platform started because she wanted to build her Neolife business. And she knew creating value for people is a way they learn to trust you and you're giving them good things that they can apply to their life, right? And so um, it originally started out that way, but guess what? It has changed. Neo life has become this part of her life, the pinky, a thimble full. And her platform has become all, they have a podcast now um, on raising families and providing resources for homeschooling. It's just turned into this huge thing. Every once in a while, she'll just share about Neo life, but that is not the focus anymore. And so, but the way that originated was she was interested in sharing the things that she was interested with other people. And she found like-minded people who joined her tribe, you know, and, um, and then Neo life is just naturally a part of your life. And um, so I wanted to give you another example of my second daughter, Kyla. She does not like to be online. Um, she does not like to share people, go out and share meal life with people, but she loves to cook. Okay. And so she shares uh, like once a week, um, healthy um, menus and healthy um but meals that she can share with other people, recipes, okay? She shares recipes with people and people love it, okay? And then every once in a while, she shares on there, um, oh, I'm doing a detox or here's how to keep your kids healthy during winter and people are flooding to her. So whatever your personal interest is, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, running or theater or whatever it is, um, just ask yourself, how can I create value for the people that I'm around outside of Neo life? And then Neo life will naturally come up in that. So, um, what do I do with my time? Think number one, think, think outside the box and create value. Another way to say it is see a need and meet it. Okay. So my kids are in theater for the first time this year. They're in the play Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. 
<laughs> one of my sons is uh, Gideon. He's one of the uh, sons, okay? And then my other two daughters are in there. And they tell the parents, okay, we have tech week coming up. It's just from 5.30 to 9.30, five days a week, putting on two shows. They're putting on seven programs. And I'm watching these kids and they're pounding sugar. They're pounding sugary drinks from Dutch Brothers. One kid passed out during practice because he drank two energy drinks. Okay. Um, so Red Bulls or whatever. Um, so I'm seeing this. I'm like, how are these kids going to perform and have energy to do what they're asked to do? And my mind got to thinking, first of all, I was thinking about my kids. What am I going to give them to make sure that they sustain? And then all of a sudden it clicked on me. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to talk to all the parents in the theater. There's 66 kids in the play, tons of families. So I got on I reached out and asked the lady that was getting the families together for a talk. And I said, hey, how would you like me to provide recipes, um, healthy snack ideas, and to kind of emphasize the importance of health during this busy season when everybody's putting on the plays? And she's like, great, let's do it. Okay, so I haven't done it yet, but I'm creating value for something I'm already involved in, right? And it's going to reach tons of families. And I'm expecting a fallout from that. And guess what? I told my daughter, my 15-year-old, She, this is part of her theater group. And I said, listen, you get up, share your testimony of what you're taking, the shakes, what you take every day. And everybody who signs up, will put them under you. And then I spoke into her and I said, you know what, Kenzie, you are a presenter. I've heard you present in school, book reports. You're a presenter. You're super articulate. And I'm going to do this for you about three times. And then you're going to do it from there on out. Okay. So watch what I'm doing. Watch what I'm saying, because it's going to be your turn. So um, anyway, that's one example of um, creating value for something that you're already involved in for people. And loving on people. And we'll have all those samples in the back. We'll talk about Elevate, Upbeat, um, Protein Shakes, and the garlic and Super C, um, if they feel like their kids are coming down with something. And I'm kind of scared, you guys. I've never done something like this before. <laughs> but it's we talked about the four Cs at convention. You have to commit to something. I want you to write this down. It's super important. If you haven't heard this before, this is the way you grow. You commit, number one. Number two, you show courage. And then you grow, number three, in your capability. And then number four, you grow in your confidence. Okay? This is the way growth works. You have to stretch yourself. You have to get out there. Because, and when you show courage, you know, you could fall flat on your face, but it's still a win. It's always a win because you learn something. And you'll be asking questions. You'll be reading books. You're like, oh, I'm going to do it differently that time. If I had to do it again, I would do it this way. Okay. So you're going to be growing. And, um, and that's the way you grow in your confidence. So you're at a place where it's easy to do, but it, nothing ever starts out easy. It's always starts out hard. So, um, the other one, um, what was the question? What do you do with your time? Okay, so I want to ask you the question. Are you excited about your life? Okay, if you're not excited about your life, then change it. Do you guys, I'm giving you the power to say change it. If you don't like your life, if you don't like your weight, then change it. Start working on it. I'm not where I want to be physically, but I'm working on it. I'm enjoying the process. You don't like your clothes. You don't feel like you're on your A game, like you feel great. Go change your clothing so that you feel like you're a super A star player. If you don't like, you know, um, if you don't feel like you're a very interesting person, start reading books. Become an interesting person. If you don't feel like you're very good re with relationships, start reading about it. Start exercising. Whatever it is about your life, if it's not fun, try a new hobby. Join a new group. 
whatever it is, but be excited about your life. Jim Rohn says, don't start your day until you have it down on paper. Don't start your week until you have it down on paper. Don't start your month or your year. And so when I go to bed, I'm actually super excited about my life. And I'm a homeschooling mom. Most of my stuff is being at home, but I'm trying new recipes. I'm planning fun events so that our kids are engaged. I'm having people over. Um, you know, I'm involved in a Bible study with um, mothers and daughters. Like I'm exercising. I'm like, I'm engaged in my life and I'm enjoying it. And um, one of the things I like to tell people, anytime I hear somebody say, I don't have energy, I'm just exhausted. I love to turn to them and say, you know, you can change that, right? And they always look at me like, what are you talking about? Yeah, you can change it. And I'm like, well, talk to me. And you get to introduce new life to them. So love your life. If you don't love it, change it. Um, here's some, uh, start a book club, cook something new, have some people over for dinner, do something you've never done before. Okay, number two, um, Bob asked me to speak to the question, you don't have time to execute. Know the season that you're in because there are seasons when you can't execute. You know, for example, I just had a baby and I'm nursing, I'm up all night. That is not a good time for me to build my season and my business to be super involved in other people and overwhelm myself. It's just a season I need to care for myself I need to care for my family and get to a place of strength, get things organized in my house, right? So, but more often than not, it's just an excuse when we say we don't have time to execute because we all have the same amount of time in the day and it's just getting focused and getting serious about what you want. Um, as a mom, I'm busy, so I don't have time to think about, oh, I'm afraid or should I do this? It's like, no, pick up the phone do the text, whatever I need to do, get it done. It's all about execute, execute, execute. Um, and if you say that you don't have time, it's a, it's an important thing to, you probably don't really want to build your business. Okay. So you need to do a little bit more soul digging and figure out what's the real underlying problem of why I'm not building my business. I say I don't have time, but I do because you, there's all kinds of ways that you can um, cut out little times. It's just not a priority because you always have time for the things that are important to you. So, um, you know, it might be because you're insecure or you feel afraid of something or, you know, and that's, I just want to encourage you with the four C's that I just talked to you about. Just go for it. And um, you've got Bob who's super and all these people on the phone call that are super supportive and will help you um, along the way. And all of a sudden you're going to start finding a spark of joy, come back into your life and start enjoying your life because you're taking risks and you're growing and, and it starts the whole thing, you know, it has a compound effect. So um, let's see. Um, um, I wanted to say this, a little note that maybe... <clears throat> you don't have time because you're overselling. Don't oversell and making things too complicated. It's just really simple. I can get on a phone call with a person. I have no idea who they are. My husband is a coach and people see his energy. What are you taking, Chad? You need to talk to my wife. They call me up and in 15 minutes, I have them on a program just by asking specific questions. It's just make it simple. Okay, so if you could change anything about your health, what would you change? Okay, um, okay, is there anything else? Great, this is what I would put you on. And before I do this, I send them a, um, before I get on the phone call with them, I will say that I send them a six minute video on the five, Criteria Solutions by Lisa Whitman. And yep. I say, as soon as you watch this video, let's set up a time when we can talk. So it gives them some backstory. They at least know when I'm saying tree and N, it's, they're not hearing it for the first time. Oh, on the video, you saw the tree and N. Yeah, this is what it does to your body. And then the salmon oil, it does this. And I just kind of go through those four vitamins, what they do. 
And um, is there anything else? Do you have digestive issues? Are you having sleep problems? And then let's address that. And then we talk about, you know, if they have a lot of issues, I say, hey, let's get you up and feeling well, okay? So your well seems really dry right now. So it might seem like you're taking a lot of supplements at first, but let's get you feeling better and then we'll back off to a maintenance program, okay? So my goal, I need them to feel different and whatever that takes, if that means extra tree and N, um, I'm going to put them on it, you know, and if it's financially, if that's the problem, I'll say, here's a good, better and best program. So you're going to benefit on good, no matter what. And, um, better is better and best is best. And you can get to the best because they have a three for free program. Okay. Just real simple. And then I have my notebook meal life notebook. I have a file on them, a piece of paper. As I'm talking to them, I'm suggesting I have what their name, their phone number, what I suggested, what they're taking, um, the name of their dog, something they're concerned about. So when I call back, you start to get so many people, you start to forget what you're doing. And so, um, I'll write things down. I'll put a date the last time that I talked to them. And before I get off the phone, I am putting on my calendar the next time I'm going to reach out to them. Oh, they're getting their supplements this day. I'm going to reach out to them a month from now. I'm going to reach out to them, you know, so, um, keeping track, they need to fill the care. So, um, and then I always pop in about your spouse. Is your spouse in need of something? Oh no, I'm just going to try this first and see if it works. Perfect. I just want you to know also they have a children's line that's really amazing. Oh, they do? Tell me about the children's line. All of a sudden, now I've got the whole family on the products. Husband, wife, children. Whole fam bam. Okay? You can do it in 15, 20 minutes. All right? So, um, and I always tell them, you're going to eat it with a meal. Your urine's going to be bright yellow. That's totally normal. And I'm going to call you and follow up and see how you're doing. And they're always just like, thank you so much, you know, for caring. All right. Um, so how do I spend my time? I spend time on my own health. I take my supplements every day and I try to exercise five days a week for 30 minutes. And guess what? It's not complicated. I don't have to leave my house and go to a gym. I have some weights in my bedroom. I pull up a 30 minute weight program for arms, legs, stomach, rotate, hit workout, go for a run every once in a while. Okay. To make sure that I'm, my heart's going great. And that's all I give. That's all I have the time I've committed 30 minutes, five days a week. And guess what? That is hard to do. Actually, anybody who regularly takes their supplements and regularly exercises, I have total respect for it because that is not, it's easy to do and it's easy not to do. Usually that's the first thing to go. And you just don't think about it. You just, I know the day before when I'm going to work out, what time. And if I miss it at this time, I'm going to do it this time. Um, so that's going to come out. That's a priority. And that's the way I spend my time. Um, let's see here. I wanted to give you another example of creating value. So my husband was asked to go speak to um, a group of workers in Virginia um, from a young man that owns nine good feet running shoe stores. Okay, so he's a real successful guy. We hooked up our son that's 17 years old with him and he went back and did an internship with him in Virginia. And he went through a two week training program, got on the floor, started selling the shoes, my son was hiding behind the tent at the fair because he was so nervous, did not want to go out and talk. We talked about the four C's, commit, courage, capability, confidence. Barrington, this is the way you're going to grow. Go for it. You got this. Okay. So he went out and he sold orthotics for shoes and he ended, it was a $1,500 sell. He's 17 years old. Okay. But through failure, through practicing, through trying you guys, he was their top salesperson by the end of the two weeks. Okay. Yes. And this is who you guys are. 
This is who everybody is. We can change who we are. The people who are willing to show the courage are the people who are going to grow. And anybody can learn and grow through anything. So, um, because like I said, he was the guy shaking behind the tent, afraid to go out and talk to one person out of all my children. He was the guy that was the scared. And that's why we made him do this. He did not want to go. I said, you are going and you're going to do this. Bye-bye. All on his own, away from all of his family, all of his siblings, out of his comfort zone. Sometimes we need to be pushed. And so in a loving way, we pushed our son. Anyway, they've asked Chad to come speak. And I just got to thinking, you know, Barrington wants to sign up and work for Neil Life. And, his, and he wants Kinsey to be under him because Kinsey's a real go-getter. And so I'm like, okay. I said, listen, how about this, Barrington? I'm thinking outside the box. Why don't I do a wellness seminar for the guy who's hiring Chad to come speak? And I'll just offer to do a wellness seminar for free. And anybody who signs up from that, we'll just put them under you. And he's like, yes. I'm like, that's great. It's his connection, right? His people that he's around. So I want to help him and support him in that. So that hasn't happened yet. That's supposed to happen in February. Have I ever done this before? No. Am I scared? Yes. So I've been thinking about it a lot. And Nick Gavrilov, I went, his, he has an incredible PowerPoint presentation. All I did was go get his PowerPoint. He was showing it to me. He goes, this is awesome. I'm like, I need to use this. He's like, great. Plug in my picture, plug in my QR code at the end. Simple as that. It's all done. And it's really easy to follow. Okay. So it's going to require courage for me. And I just want to share this because I'm out there too. Sometimes you can look at people and just go, oh, you know, they've got it all together or that's not me. You guys, I've been working at this for 20 years. Very scared. My very first phone call, just like sweating and shaking and all those things. Um, and I just want to say, you know, when you practice at these things, you're going to get better. Um, another idea. Okay, I got this idea at uh, Wisdom Builders. I'm hearing all these older women talk about, oh, how can I share with people? I'm like, okay. There is a serious void in the church for the older women teaching the younger women. Have you ever thought about having the young women over to your house to teach them the things that you should do in marriage, the things you wish you would have known when they were your age, the mistakes that you made, child rearing things, the things you did that were worked, the things that you didn't do that didn't work? How about pouring value into young ladies and fulfilling Titus 2 that says the older are to teach the younger. Have you ever thought of that? No, I've never thought of that. And in the midst of that, you share about Neolife because Neolife is part of being a godly woman, taking care of yourself, having the energy to give. Okay. So it was so fun to share that with a few women and the lights just went on like, I'm totally going to do that. And I'm like, yes. Yes, let's get all the older women doing that, right? And we're going to change people's lives, change people's families, not just physically, but in their whole, as a holistic person, right? Okay. Um, so I just want to, oh, wow, we're running out of time. Um, you got plenty of time. I just uh, wanted to share an example with you, a testimony, somebody I talked to yesterday, um, his wife had chronic fatigue. He was a speaker and I had a chance to eat lunch with him. And I said, Hey, your wife really needs to be on Neoline. My husband had chronic fatigue. And if I were you, this is what I would take. And he was like, yeah, yeah. And just like, you know, whatever. Four months later, he calls me up. He's in the hospital. His, he has a, his, brain is bleeding. Come to find out for the past two years, he's been drinking energy drinks so that he can get up and deliver and have energy to pastor and lead 
lead people. He's an incredible, he's an incredible pastor, has an incredible message to give. So those energy drinks, what were they doing? They were pulling. I explained to him, I'm like, listen, you know, what's happened is you were pulling on your adrenals, all your extra um, fighting power. You're tricking your body and saying you have energy and you're, you were pulling on your reserve. So you have no energy anymore. And now you are bedridden. Now two of you have chronic fatigue in bed and cannot help each other. And I'm like, you need to be on the products that I told you about for your wife. Didn't hear much. And then finally he was desperate. He called me up, Jenny's, I need help. Tell me what to do. You know, in the meantime, he has all people saying, you need to take, um, what's the super huge network marketing? Am I not, um, who does everybody use? You know, they've been around forever. Amway. My neighbor is saying I need to take the Amway, Amway vitamins. Um, he's ordering vitamins off infomercials from TV. Okay. This is where people are. They don't know where to go. And they, you need to be strong when you come up to him and say, listen, listen to me and what I'm telling you. You need to do this for three months. And I'm not going to promise you anything, but I can pretty much 99.9% .9 tell you that you're going to feel a difference. And so he, you know, he's like, okay. So we filled out what he was supposed to take. And then he just didn't have the energy to do it. When people get so desperate and I understand because my husband had chronic fatigue, they mentally can't even make the order. I'm like, listen, do, would you like me to make the order for you? Yes. Could you do that for me, please? And I go, you know, um, he's just like, I've been praying that the Lord would just have, send somebody who would hold my hand and help me through this process. This makes me just want to cry, but we got him hooked up and, you know, his vitamins aren't there yet, but some people that are really desperate, you know, it's costing them, you know, $300 a month. I just put them on like, they should be on a lot more, but I'm just putting them on what I think they should have. That's $10 a day for each of them. Um, to get better. And I'm quite confident that he's going to, um, pull out of this, but, um, another guy called me up what it was in Chad's strategic coach class and he's lost all of his hair. He's just got through chemotherapy and he said, I need help. And, um, anyway, just put him on a program. I didn't know what I was doing. You're like, sometimes I, you might relate with this. You feel the responsibility of like, wow, I'm really dealing with somebody's help, but guess what? The Lord brought you, he brought those people into your life so you can help them and walk with confidence in that. I didn't know what I was talking about. I was like, Sue Hamilton, she's been, you know, walked without cancer for years now. I need to get a hold of her. So I called her what's happening right now. I'm growing in my capability. I'm growing in my confidence because I'm asking questions. I'm talking to real people who have experienced this, right? And all I'm doing is passing this on. And so I get Sue Hamilton's testimony. I send it to him and this is what she took. Let's modify that because it was too overwhelming for him. Let's put something together. Um, he's gone through chemotherapy. His um, cancer is gone, but we're putting him on a maintenance program so it doesn't come back, right? So um, those are just two testimonies. Um, uh, I'm okay. We're running out of time. Why do I believe in the Neo Life products? Number one, they work. I've experienced it firsthand, and I've seen testimony after testimony. So um, um, I love it because it's third party tested. It's not put, somebody putting on a suit coat and acting like they know what they're talking about. It's facts. It's science. I'm a bottom line person and I like hard facts, hard science. Um, it has this, um, everything is traceable that's in the products. Yeah, they can, um, each bottle has a number that they can trace back to the batch of carrots that they used in that bottle is what um, Dr. Miller told me. So um has a real scientific advisory board. Um, and, and I, you know, when you hear testimonies of, I don't even know who she was, but I saw it on Facebook. She said that she came off 22 medications in three months. 
That's incredible. Like you hear stuff like that and you're just like, it helps build your confidence. Like, okay, I'm on the right track. Um, I want to share a little testimony of Nick Gaverlong. Um, he came to me, okay, like three years ago. So you guys are taking Neolife vitamins. Yeah, you ought to get into it. It's it's going to help your life and it'll help your finances. Okay, tell me about it. So he's a real learner and a real grower. And so I've watched him just like for months, you know, Chad and I and Dwight Merrill Lee would put on calls and it would just be for his people. We did that for like two months or three months. And, you know, and his confidence was just growing a little bit by a little bit. But um, now he just told me that he had a room full of 12 people and he sold all 12 people. Wow. What do you think changed? His confidence, his knowledge. And so... I'm encouraging you once again, it doesn't matter who you are. It just depends how bad you want it and how vested you are in learning and having courage. So for my, my advice for people building a business, have fun. I just salt the mines everywhere I go. I just throw things out, you know, and I know people are going to come back and ask for it later. Like, Oh, so what do you do? To, oh, you ought to take what I'm taking. And I just turn around and, you know, people say that they're tired and they don't have energy. How do you have so much energy? Oh, you need to be taking what I'm taking. And then they talk about something else, but I don't like, I, you have to be really emotionally intelligent to the person that's there. Um, I drop hints all the time and the people that are really want to know and are curious, they will come back and ask me. And, um, um, uh, specific activities to building a business. I keep a notebook, follow up, collaborate, collaborate anytime. Right now you guys are collaborating. Bob is collaborating with all of you. Do you see how he's multiplying his business right now? He's a smart cookie. I mean, okay. You guys need to be doing this. Get with other people because there's more energy. I'm collaborating with my kids. There's more energy with them. Um, you know, I got with my one daughter and I said, hey, let's do a phone call together. You know, she has the platform. I have 11 years of experience or, or you know, have 11 kids and lots of experience in the products. Well, that'd be great, mommy. I got on the call. I didn't know how to work the technology. I had no idea how many people were on the call. Afterwards, I got off. I'm like, oh, that was really fun. I couldn't see anybody how many people were on the call she said oh mommy we had a hundred people on the call <laughs> okay collaboration synergy work with other people okay um um i was just going to use the example of uh bin soap okay so dwight has a business with bin soap with candles i'm sorry he has soap all right we had a business that our kids were running, farmhouse candles. How can we collaborate? He's the one that has all the people following it. How can we collaborate with him so that both of us win? It's Valentine's Day. Let's put candles and soap together and we can both win, right? We did it. Collaboration. And so he had more sales. We had winning sales that month, right? Get with people and do things that you could never do by yourself. They couldn't and you couldn't. It's a win-win. Both people win. Okay. Um, and I just wanted to close with this because we're already at an hour here. Um, number one, make the Lord the first place in your life. I can't stress that enough because out of everything comes the core, the foundation of who you are, and that's going to impact who you are. Number two, master your day. You're on a mission. If the Lord is the Lord of your life, he has a mission for you every single day. Every person that God brings into your life, you are on a mission. And number two, uh, number three, have fun. Have fun in your life. You know, the Lord, he gave us things to enjoy, even the hard times. And, and if you're in a hard season, 
press on. Winter doesn't stay there forever. What comes after winter? Spring, right? And so um, have fun. That's all I have to say. Thanks, Janice. You're welcome. <laughs> Can, can we ask two, three questions? Open it up. Would that be okay, Janice? Sure. sure. Okay. Uh, Kat, uh, Shannon, Deb, uh, Nance, Rick, Barbara. I have a personal question. Okay. With that many people in your household, there was this little line about not having uh, more than one promoter in a house. Do you have any suggestions on how you structure your business so that you're not in violation of any policy or procedure? I have never heard of that before. So um, that's really interesting. Okay, well, we're not in violation of that right now because my kids are out of the house that have the businesses. And in our house, I have one promoter. She's our 19 year old. And then the other one that is uh, 15 and 17, they won't become promoters until they're 18. So we're okay right now with that. And I've never heard that before. So. Yeah. I think, I think all it is, is that a husband and wife cannot both be promoters. It's, it's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other questions? You know, I'll, I'll make one comment. Um, Janice, are your kids that are under 18, they just uh, can be members. Is that right? And then the day they turn 18, they can become promoter. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Janice, wasn't it thrilling? The young gun session at oh yeah night. yeah i'm and that's growing i'm on the i i sit like a fly on a wall because i want to hear what my kids are hearing yeah. and um chad actually was the speaker on the call last week and wow. he wow. had them come up with a list of things you might want to do this for yourself 100 things you want to be do and have Okay, because it's your dream that really spurs you on to have a bigger vision. So that's what they're doing this week. A hundred things they want to be, do, and have. Um, anyway, they're getting some good coaching and it's really exciting. It's actually fueling me for some reason. I don't know. I just think I want to stay out in front of my kids, you know, and I want to be an example to them. Um, they're looking at me um, more. Um, uh, more closely now because they have their own business before it's just like, Oh, that's my mom, you know, but now it's like, Oh, what are they saying? How is she doing that? What is she reading? You know, those things. Okay. And you know, um, Nick is a good friend of mine. I, mm -hmm. I enjoy him so much. And you guys, he has eight kids and this young gun thing, his 15 year old spoke at the last team retreat. She's up wow. on, on the stage they had, Janice, would you say about 10 or 12 kids, like uh, 14 to 20 or something like that up there? Yes, all the parents that have been in here for a long time, their kids are all like 18 years old now, or 15 to 18, 20, 21. And it's having um, a school of, um, I don't know, excitement around Neolife. Yeah, it's fantastic. So I was talking to um, Is Isabella, right? His, mm -hmm. his oldest, she's the oldest of eight. And she was up there talking on stage. So I talked to her during lunch and she's only 15. And I, I said, I thought you can't be a promoter till you're 18. She said, yeah, but I'm a member. And so she's already getting free product, her three for free. She's building this team that the day she turns 18, she goes to the promoter and she starts getting checks. Is that visionary and forward thinking you guys? And so all these homeschool families, Janice had about, we're about five of your kids at the last event or six, because you guys were sitting in front of me a row or two ahead. I can see y'all. Yeah, six or seven kids, yeah. I think. Yeah, so you guys, people bring their kids to the summit wow. and to these events because they want, like Josh said, his parents brought all of their kids when Josh was growing up. And now Josh brings all of his kids. He pays registration for them because they want their kids in an entrepreneurial mindset. Super nice people there. Jamie, you've been to Wisdom Builder events. So nice. And Deb has in Bend. Um, so great environment, right? Right, Janice? Yeah. And, and they're hearing the things that you want them to hear. It's coming from somebody else. And they're getting the vision 
without like, it's just like soaking into their bones good point without being a naggy parent you know yeah so they're getting sold by other people yeah so isabella's up there you guys can't believe that 15 she's building a team that's really amazing barb i just wanted to thank denise for bringing that up because i thought we had to get a number we had grandkids yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, so that's a really important thing to know. Yeah. And, and at the end of their event, they have people share about the last hour on Sunday of what this this gathering meant over the last three days. And I saw two of Janice's daughters up there. Uh, I was watching the other day. I watched Janice's talk again because uh, chat um, Alan sent out the videos, and I watched Janice's talk, and then I was watching. Um, uh, that last session where people tell what this meant to them. And two of Janice's kids were up there. It was your daughters that I saw. Are they like 14 and 15 or what? Are, yeah. Um, actually, all my kids went up there besides no. the two little ones. Yeah. I was wow. like, what is happening right now? <laughs> I didn't say anything to them. I was in the back of the room and just one by one, they were going up there and sharing. It was really fun. 15 yeah. and 19 and my older daughters. Wow. Wow. And I'm sure the younger ones pay attention to Katie and Kyla that are, you know, building this big team. And Janice, yeah. can you please tell us what products you use. I'm real interested to know. I take a lot of stuff. Yeah. But... <laughs> hear it, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I'll just tell you why I take it real quick. Okay. Yeah. I actually wrote this down, but I was like, oh, we don't have time for this, but I'll just briefly go through it. So I, can I stop you just a second? Yeah. The reason I wanted Janice to tell us this is because people, leaders in the company say we need to be a product of the product. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Katie is uh, Janice's firstborn, has this massive business. She's a, she's a one Ruby. And I heard Katie say that if the person knows my mom, who we're all listening to right now, Janice, Katie said, all I have to do is say, mom uses this. They'll join. <laughs> okay. Because she's, uh, what Jerry Brasfield says, what makes us successful, he told us, is if we're believable. And so mm -hmm. if no one will join when we talk to them, he said, there's a reason for that. <laughs> it's because we're not believable. Because they're not believers. Okay. Well, when I, so when I told, um, I mentioned, someone mentioned to Jerry that Janice um, has like a hundred percent sign up rate because like she'll get a referral and then she'll tell them, okay, watch five key criteria.com. You guys can send that out five key criteria.com. And Janice, you also send five key criteria solution.com both. For sure. The solutions and sometimes the criteria. Okay. So you guys, so Janice is believable. That's what Jerry said. Her sign up rate has nothing to do with her words, her, her verbiage. It's because she's believable. That's his 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 assessment. And he's he's wise, man. He's been in this forever. So being believable, Janice is a product of the product. That's what Katie's saying. When I tell him my mom uses it, they join. So that's why I wanted to hear, Janice, could you share us with what you use? Okay. So for skin, I take okay. three vitamin A right. and I use the organic skincare. Okay. Um, I also take... Uh, for super C every day that oh. uh, builds collagen in your skin. All right. It's also good for um, veins. Circu I have, um, you know, varicose veins. It's good for circulation. Also, it's going to boost my immunity. Vitamin C is good for a lot of things, but skin collagen. Okay. Uh, shakes. I take a shake a day. Okay. Um, a tree and in for um, energy, sleep cycles, hormones. I take actually two trianin every day, um, uh, because I need it. Um, and then salmon oil, I'll take five of those a day. That's, um, brings down inflammation. I can tend to, my thumbs feel a little arthritic if I don't take it. So I take five, um, salmon oil a day. That's right. also bringing down inflammation in the rest of my body. It's brain food, coats your nerves, people on seizures need six a day. Um, anyone with a chronic anything needs six salmon oil a day for sure. 
And did you say yeah. seizures? Did I hear you say seizures? Yeah, seizures. Okay, salmon oil, helpful for yeah. that. Okay, great. Um, and then um, magnesium. I take two magnesium. That's responsible for 700 reactions in your body. And so I figured that's a good thing to take. Yeah. I need some reactions going on in my body. Um, upbeat in the morning. The first thing I do is get a packet of upbeat and um, I drink that with my water. I try to drink lots of water. I always drink like uh, three glasses of water before breakfast because that's super cleansing for elimination for all kinds of things. And then um, I told you the vitamin C, if I sense something coming on, I'll take four super C, two garlic, three times a day. It knocks out whatever is going around. And so I don't okay. get sick. Um, full motion, I just take one of those, um, mainly for my um, thumbs as well. Okay. Uh, but that's great for, it takes away pain. It helps build cartilage in your joints. Um, Chad, for skiing, he takes uh, salmon oil and full motion for his joints, and he doesn't have any joint pain. Um, zinc, that's just good. I just take one zinc. That's also good for your skin. People who have, um, I had a gal with, um, she was very concerned about her skin just breaking out, and she just took Pro Vitality, um, two zinc, and three vitamin A. She came back two weeks later in the shake. Okay. And her skin is just amazing. So zinc is good for skin as well. Also for healing. Right. Um, I actually take one mind enhancement. Um, they, you take one in the morning, one at night. It's been helping me sleep. So um, I do take the rest and relax. Um, rest and relax at nighttime. But the mind enhancement, I just started that. It has really, uh, I've seen the benefits of that. Um, lipotropic, I take four lipotropic because I don't want cellulite ladies that helps with cellulite, it emulsifies the fat in your body. It's also super good for your heart. So, um, I don't have heart issues or anything, but I mean, I'm pretty vain. So I guess that's why I take it. Um, acidophilus plus I take one of those every night. Um, it's just good gut. Um, I tended to have a propensity for yeast infections. And I found that if I took one acidophilus, a plus zero yeast infections again, Great. Um, I don't really take the elevate. Uh, I may take it on a, on an occasion. If I really want mental clarity, I've noticed the mental clarity, but I'm really a proponent of natural energy producing. I, I, I want to know that the energy that I have, I don't drink any coffee. 100% um, natural energy is coming from my body, not from any kind of, you know, I know green tea is good for you and I know all the good things, but anyway, um, I take the phyto defense. That's uh, again, it's got the three carotenoids in there. That's super good for your skin. That's um, it has all the cancer flavonoids and cruciferous. It's gonna, it helps, you know, take away the cancer idea. I just want to be proactive on that end. So, um, beta zyme, I noticed that my stomach would tend to bloat. Um, after 40, you stop producing en enzymes. And so when I take that beta zyme, it just takes down, um, it's just digesting my food and fantastic. Um, I just have beta just on hand. Um, if there's a stomach flu going around, I'll give that to my kids. And that seems to um, benefit them that way. Garlic is amazing. So I don't take garlic every day. And, um, but if something's going around, I'll take the garlic. Uh, CoQ10, after 40, it just shows that you're, we need CoQ10. Um, it impacts the mighty mitochondria of the cell goes right in there, creates energy. Um, two liver and C. I can tend to be anemic. And so I take two liver and C super great for energy and anemia. Uh, amazing. And then, um, the last thing is the stress 30 packet. Um, it has a lot of B vitamins. It's great for your hair and you just take it because it's, I can, <laughs> I don't have to, but I can. So but that's a lot. So I kind of have a morning 
a regiment that I take and an evening regiment that I take. But I'll tell you what, I feel like a racehorse. I'm not kidding. We had Thanksgiving. I had, so we entertained. I had all of my family, which was 24 of my children, grandchildren in our house for like four days. So four times three, that's 12 meals. They helped with a few of the meals, but the rest I did. And then after that, we had my larger family, which is all Chad's family. They have eight siblings, 74 people for three days doing meals, three days, soccer, you know, all the things. And I just felt great. Felt so great. I don't know. I felt like I put my body to the test and I felt fantastic. So, um, I certainly wouldn't have been taking all these if I wasn't, didn't have a paycheck coming in from Neolife, but I just do it because I can and I feel great. So you definitely don't need all that stuff to feel good, but that's what I do. <laughs> Janice, that is fantastic. And Janice, I, I have something I might be able to share with you possibly. Do you have a video of Sue Hamilton telling her story at all? I, yes, I got that from Micah. Okay. Okay. Cause I have one too. I don't know if the same one. And I also have um, a program that she, and you know, Louie is the one that coached her. Yes. Yeah. She, you guys, if you don't know that she had stage four breast cancer, it had already spread to her brain and to her liver. And she was so far gone. She rolled over in bed and broke her leg. And then her son heard Louie's testimony, how he was also terminal and begged Louis to come talk. And so Louis spent, I think about 12 hours over a th three day period or four days with Sue Hamilton and her husband, coaching them what to do, telling them why this is better than anything you can find in a store. And Sue has been cancer free for 13 years. And you guys, you know, she broke her leg just rolling in bed. Well, now last time, last I heard she'd run six 5K races with her daughter. So 13 years cancer free. And Louie was nice enough. Louie and Sue did it together. They're so kind. I'm not in their team. And they gave me a program for anyone with stage four. So I can, I, I think I should send it to Jamie and to Deb. So you guys can share it with people here. And Janice, I can send you that if you want. That would be fantastic. I would like both of those. Okay, good. It'd be creating value. Okay, good. <laughs> you create tons of value. Yeah. Yeah. When I grow up, I want to be like Janice Johnson. <laughs> and and um, let's see here. Uh, so, you know, this has a lot of weight in my mind. When you get a program from two people that were both stage four, and I think you guys all know, we can't tell anyone we can cure them or promise anything. We just say, look, this is going to maximize your chances. Yeah. And uh, the reason they have to take huge amounts, there's a lady in the company that was a two diamond, she's passed away now. And she told me that in the military, when they're doing, I don't know where that noise has come from. When they, okay, when they're, can we, is that one, is that mic on or that's not on? Okay, okay. Um, so in the military, when they're doing target practice, they only use so much ammo. But in when the war is on, it goes up 50 or 100 times as much ammo. And that's what cancer is. Okay, we need huge amount of ammo because we got a full-scale war going. It's going to kill the person, literally, unless we mount a big defense. So that's why they have a lot of product on there. The other illustration you can give them, you can say, look, have you ever heard of a five-alarm fire? And sometimes they will, and sometimes they haven't. But you say a five-alarm fire is like if Valley River Center shopping mall is on fire. They don't send one truck. They don't send two trucks. They send every truck in the county because they know if they don't get millions of gallons of water on that, the sucker is going to burn to the ground because it's a huge shopping center. And that's what cancer is. Emma Jo told me uh, she, it's a five alarm fire. And Emma Jo is the one that saved my life when I was suicidal. And she called me and said, Bob, all you got to do is take six salmon and five B complex and you won't have the depression. So she was really sharp lady. And she told me the cancer is like five alarm fire. So we got to communicate that to people, not that we can heal them or cure them, but we're, we need to give massive amounts of water on that fire. We can't use a squirt gun. If the firemen come up with the squirt gun, they have the right thing, water. They don't have the right amount. So you guys get it. So we just need huge amounts. And 
pray like crazy, you know, and, and then juice. So I'll send that to you, Janice. Great. Thanks. Yeah. Um, is that everything that she takes? Is that everything that she takes? She, she said she took vitamin A. For vitamin A. I, I like to clarify that. The vitamin A, Janice said, is for healthy it's not, skin. It's how much you take. Three a day. She three. takes three, three. a day. She takes three a day. And yeah. when you're over 65, you cut back. Well, no, she's no, not. That's what it says on the bottom. I know. Why did you say that? Yeah, but I talked to Marjorie Clock. She takes like ten a day, um, because she takes ten a day because of her like spleen and kidney issue. And she said because it's you know I know I I I probably shouldn't get into this. Okay. But, yeah. And and so you guys know my grandfather took twenty five a day. Oh. Yeah, twenty five a day. Right, ninety three. He could he could run a rototiller the day he died. So you guys with a um, it depends on what they have. See, Grandpa had emphysema, which is any anyone that has sinus issues, lung issues, stuff like that, they can tolerate much higher amounts of a than other people can. So if I took the amount of a that Grandpa took, I'd be toxic by my second day. And the way you tell if you're toxic, you're going to get a real bad headache, and your scalp and eyebrows will get. Uh, flaky and scaly and dandruffy and that's your body saying don't give us any more we have enough you're going to get a splitting headache so if you, if that happens you just back off and i would not the only time i would take 25 a a day is if i had a barn burner cold fortunately i haven't had one for a long time but if i got a barn burner cold where tons of mucus you know drainage just tons then you can take you can tolerate very high amounts leslie hansen knows all this too you can tolerate high amounts if they have asthma bronchitis pneumonia anything with lungs or sinus or bladder because bladder. see yeah see what see you guys know how our eyeball is slick and wet and shiny that's called the mucous membrane and then you know how the inside of our mouth is slick and wet and shiny that's the mucous membrane and that's what lines our sinuses it's all this slick wet shiny tissue and that's what lines our lungs and that's what lines our bladder and what makes that tissue healthy doesn't matter if it's eyes sinus lungs bladder what makes it healthy is vitamin a so if they have an issue with that, they can usually tolerate high amounts. So like if I had barn burner cold, I could take 25 or 50 in a day. And then you only do that when you're real sick. The second you're well, you stop. Because otherwise, if you keep it up, you're going to get a splitting headache, to A, toxicity. So then you just go off the A and that'll go away. But most people only need maybe one or two a day. But um, if they have a history, like grandpa had an incurable lung disease, emphysema, it, it went away to the doctor's shock because he used high amounts of the right stuff. Yeah. Is that cool? Um, does, uh, does Janice take vitamin D and how much? Well, yeah, I take two vitamin D, yes. Okay, you guys, let's give her another hand. Yes, thanks so much for having me. You guys have a great team, great leader. That's so wow. helpful. So helpful, Janice, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. This chat might have one. Okay. All right. I'm off to a parade with my kids. So okay. bye. Thanks, Janice. Uh -huh. This was, you were talking about a young person, um, a teen call. Is it the young gun? Yeah, or was that part of the Alabama? Presentation? That's part of the Alabama. Okay. But I'm going to try to get Nick on here because remember, she said Nick signed 12 out of 12. Mm -hmm. And Nick is in her downline. And um, he's fortunately, I'm a good friend of his. See, that's one of the benefits of, like Jamie and I go to these events and Deb has been to them. Carol's been to some. Mm -hmm. Nancy's been to several as you make connections there. So right. fortunately, Nick's a friend of mine and hopefully we can get him on and get Isabella on too. She's 15, she's building a team. <laughs> Gavrilov, yeah. it's Russian. Oh, okay. Yeah, Gavrilov, he's a very nice guy. Yes, Carol. Well, I think with anybody, if you know someone there, who's already really motivated, you go there with people because that one person says, well, that's a good idea. I have one person, then another person will, and then another person will, because it, it, they they get confirmation and, and oh, yeah, well, if they're going to do it, maybe I should do it. Yes. It's it's social social people there in a good way. Yeah. yeah, they call it they call it actually social validation because they get in the room, they see a hundred other people and they hear 50 testimonies up there. They're going, wow, this is not just what Deb told me or just what Kat told me or just what Bob told me. They hear 
60 other people and then they go to lunchtime there's not even a session training session like up on the stage it's just at lunch but three of the people of the eight at their table tell them cool stuff you know and they make friends so you guys the next one just so you know it's not too far from here it's in fresno it's march 22nd through 24th so put that on your calendar i have discount tickets so talk to me if you want to come we want you to come because it's a blast for one thing but if you apply anything they tell you you're going to grow too so right now we're going to switch to um we're going to switch to uh recognition to appreciate the people that have been a big help to us and you guys before i do that won't you agree janice she's awesome isn't she so believable so believable and you guys with with the economy being a big deal can you imagine eight out of 11 kids are getting paid wow that's amazing <laughs> Okay, guys, here we're going to really appreciate the people who have helped our team. Uh, last month, Donna Wheeler had 1,002 points. Nancy Reese, 1,007. Dean Vandenberg, 1,044. Tambicia Frederick, 1,052. Lori Ish, she's way over in Montana, 1,082. Um, Rick and Barbara Bird, 1,104. Kathy Instad, 1112 PV. Allison Wilson in New York, 1195. Kat Bonnie, 1261. Right here. And Brent and Ramona Chichester in Canada, 1817. Jolene Cox in Portland, 2008. Sigrid Simpson. Sigrid, I think Sigrid is. There she is. She's on here. Sigrid is in Nebraska, I think. 2,162. Now, I should tell you guys, if, since you weren't at our luncheon, everybody online here last night, I mean our dinner, if you hit 1,000 points, which we have several people in this room have done that, you're in the top 10% of network marketers nationwide. Because 80% of people who get network marketing never sponsor their first person, okay? And um, only 15% ever get to 1,000 points. Isn't that amazing, Jamie? So we have a elite group here, don't we? So if you've been over 1,000, that's elite. That's a top 15%. I guess it's because most people don't have the guts and courage to continue talking to people, I think is all it is. And you guys have done that, so good job. And if you hit 2,000 executive manager like Nancy has here, like Jolene Cox has, you're in the top 10% of network marketers. So perseverance, that's what we need. And what we can get. Yes, and Barb and Rick, that's right. So then Gene McEwen in New York, 3,589. Yes. Then Olivia, and you guys, Gene's whole business came because she came to a Louis event, the whole business. Because when she came, she was doing hardly anything. Within about a week after she'd been to the Louis event, and she flew 3,000 miles each way because she, she flew from New York to L.A. Barbara invited her. She was a director by the, a week later. Yeah, oh, cool. was she at your leadership deal? Cool. Cool. Yeah. So um, that all came from inviting. She had two friends with her. One went clear to a thousand. I think the other one might have gone to a thousand too. So she's at four thousand. Okay. So then Olivia Warkington, four thousand eighteen. Joy Cordell's in Seattle, four thousand ninety. Gina Ellis in Wisconsin, who is under Leslie, who I see on my screen right here, and Leslie's at her house in Wisconsin, four thousand two hundred and twenty-nine. Mark Ritchie in Iowa, four thousand six hundred forty-three. Marilee Blomberg, 5,000. Jamie and Carol Wilson, 5,068. They're hosting us here. Deb Muzak, John Chambers, 5,789. And Deb has a brand new senior manager right there. And a summit attendee, and a summit attendee, ready to go to the next one. Then Victor Pearson, 6,936. Leslie Hansen, 7,436. The 
job less. Daniel Hansen, 9,155. Barbara Chichester in number two, 10,993. And we have one more for personal volume, then we'll switch to, to group. Stephanie Beckett. Listen to this, you guys. Stephanie got over MS with our product. She's 72. She's not on any meds. That's amazing. And her volume last month, 14,627. You guys, Steph is about this tall. She's a total fireball, though. And uh, she believes down to her toes in the product because, you know, no, no problem with MS. Okay, then world team. This is, we have four elite world team members in our team. One of, one of them's right here in the room with us. Deb Muzak, John Chambers, 10,857. Founders of the Grants Pass team. Then we have Leslie Hansen, 20,820. Thank you, Les, for all you bring and your family. You can relate to uh, Janice. You got several kids in your family getting nice checks. Daniel gets nice checks, sold over 9,000. That's her, her youngest son. And then she's got a da daughter that has eight kids and she does Neil Life maybe an hour a month, would you say, Les? Um, I would say uh, an hour less than a year. He has nine kids. Huh? He has nine kids. Okay, Gina nine. nine. Yeah, nine. you guys have a Neil Life one hour a year. Yeah, and she did four thousand last month. You guys, is that so? See, so a family to have an extra grand coming in just from a little part side gig, uh, extra thousand. That's pretty helpful, wouldn't you say? Big time. Yeah. Bob. Yes. Lisa down in Mexico gets a check the size uh, from the business she built before she moved down there, but she's starting up in Mexico too, a check as big, almost as big as the whole annual income of the town she lives in every month. Okay, wonderful, amazing, amazing, fantastic. Okay, and then in, in second place for team volume, Victor Pearson, 32,556 points. And then in number one, Marilee Blomberg with 58,376 points. And Marilee's team, you guys, it was built by our dad. And he was a missionary builder. He built hospitals and schools and churches in Africa. And when he came back to the U.S., they gave him vocational testing. And they said, whatever you do, don't get into sales. <laughs> And you guys remember last night we said it's not sales. What we're doing, we're doing education because they're already sold on vitamins. We just have to educate why us. So dad didn't have a sales cell hardly in his body. That's why they said from the test, don't get into that. But look at his team. He retired 31 years ago when he hit 65. He died at, he went over 94. And, uh, but he retired 31 years ago. And that team, which my sister's head of now, after 31 years of retirement, 58,000 points last month. So, so you guys, we don't have to be salespeople. All we have to do, he built strong relationships with two of his legs. One of his legs last month did 32,000. That's Victor. The other leg did over 20,000. And he had close relationships with both of those heads of team. One of them was Wayne and Leslie that we're looking at less on my screen, on my screen. And last what you say, because I heard you guys call them your second parents, mom and dad. I heard you call them that once. Yeah, yeah. So see, he, he could build good relationships. So you guys, if we care about people, Jerry tells us that we don't have to sell. We just have to genuinely care. We have something that'll help their health. Awesome. So, okay, you guys, well, Kendra will be with us January 6th is our next time together. And yes, Les? Okay, um, I know you wanted me to give some testimonies, so I'll skip those, but I, there is a couple things I thought were important to get said. Okay. Yeah. Um, first of all, we brought our kids so many times to Impact Summit and other meetings. Okay. And then um, also, 
Lipotropic helps keep your hair from falling out, especially us older folks. Thought you'd like to know that. And people when they have a baby afterwards, the lady's hair starts falling out. <laughs> and um, let's see, on vitamin A, yeah. I just wanted to say that was one of my testimonies. When I got mold in my house and I woke up one morning having trouble breathing about five years ago, I was so grateful for all the experience in Neolife because I literally took, get my hand in the picture here, a whole handful of vitamin A every day for three months before I started overdosing. So what I did, I looked up what overdosing causes and I thought, what in the world did I have? And I, the only thing I could think of is fungal pneumonia. Okay. And because the hospital had given our oldest daughter systemic fungemia, like she had yeast growing inside her eyeball and they're checking all of her body. They almost killed her anyway. She's 49 now. <laughs> um, got her out of there with a lot of fasting and prayer. Um, the uh, I knew that if I went to the hospital, I'd probably be dead. So I I had to I had to take care of it myself. And um, doing the final bit of it here, where Gina and Krista live, with a, a nutrition doctor here too. So uh, he picked it up right away. Fungal. So I'm so grateful for the vitamin A. I think it's my favorite supplement. So it, there's way more to it than what our label is required to say by the, uh, is it the U.S. Department of Agriculture? Probably FDA. FDA, yeah. So just if you need more information on that, you know, ask. I would have been taking the 25,000 ones before they made us make them smaller. So he would have been taking two and a half times as much as 25 of what we have now. Yeah. Well, he took 10 because they were 25,000 back then. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, good point. So some people can tolerate the high amount if they have yes, an issue. Yeah, if they're deficient. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Thank you, Les. That, very good points. And Les, you yeah. have about four kids that get checks, don't you? You got Gina, Daniel, Teresa get some, and, um, and uh, Lisa. Yeah, that's, that's right. So um, you guys should have some more. You need to have some more kids. And then. Right. <laughs> the other kids take the products and give them to their kids. So. Chad, Chad and Denise need to have a few more because, no, man, they're going to have eight first level directors. <laughs> Except her kids sign up the other kids because remember she said Barrington wants to sign up Kinsey because she's a go getter. So he wants to put his little sister under him. <laughs> wow. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, it's a great family business, that's for sure. And Les, thanks for what you contributed today and what you contribute all the time with your business. So God bless you guys. Bye. See you in January, Bye, Teresa. Bye, Teresa. Bye, Daniel. Bye, Cindy. Bye, Leslie. Bye, Bye, Bye everyone. Uh -huh. Bye. Yeah. God bless you all. Hi, Sophia. Hi. Grandma. Yeah. You gonna say hi? hi? <laughs> She's been trying to say hi this whole time, but I've been telling her you can't hear her right then. 